Um, can you tell me what a preposition is? Um, person relates a noun or A preposition relates a noun or pronoun to another word. <laughs> You're right. You are so smart. How'd you get so smart? Um, um, hmm. Done. You don't know? Yes. You overhear a lot of homeschooling, don't you? Yes! Yes, ma'am. You have spaghetti mouth. Can you skip count with your ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good one, job! Two, three, Can you skip count by twos? One, two, no. three. No. Oh. Two, four, eight, six, nine, eight. eight. Nine, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Twenty-two and twenty-four. Good job. <laughs> so in classical conversations, all of the skip counting is set to music, as is um, a lot of the memory work. So Isaiah has picked it up, um, and so he can skip count um, by twos because it's set to the song or to the tune of. Jesus loves me, which is a song he already knows. And so he just had to learn new words. And so he can do it. He's also memorized just from overhearing what our other kids are learning. Um, the definition of a preposition. It's kind of an odd thing for a three year old to know, but it's just so funny to see how quickly our younger ones have picked things up just from watching some of our older children. So I thought about a, a mom trick. Um, that I would like to share because a mom shared it with me and I thought it was genius and it totally worked. So I had kids who would take off all their clothes at night. Um, and I in particular had one child that would play in their diaper and it used to drive me crazy um, just because it's gross and I would have to wash sheets and like sanitize the crib and redress them with after bath and all that. And it was just, it was a hassle. And, um, I was actually taught this trick back when I was working. So when you wake up and you're trying to get your, your kiddo off to daycare, um, it's not, you don't usually leave a ton of time to like bathe and clean sheets and, and cribs and all that every morning. Um, and so I was complaining to a friend that my, my children were taking their clothes off. Um, it was my girls at the time. And she said, you need to find footed pajamas. Um, and cut the feet out and turn it around and zip them up backwards. And I thought, yeah, right. Like, is that really going to work? And so I looked into it online and only specialty companies were, were where I could find them. And they were very expensive. So my trick is that I stop by the Goodwill or Salvation Army or whatever. Or take an old pair of pajamas. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's an old pair of Isaiah's pajamas. And these are like the fleecy warm kind because we lived in Minnesota um, when I found these. Um, and they're just Carter's brand, like regular pajamas. Um, and so all you do is you cut the foot. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know some people like cut them and they like serge them. Ain't nobody got time for that. If you buy the fleece kind, they don't um pull but I've noticed in some of our cotton one of the cotton pairs I did I we did get like a kind of jagged looking um slit but you just cut underneath the zipper so you don't want to cut the zipper and so this is where the zipper ends and this is where I've cut and then the other foot doesn't have a zipper so you just cut it somewhat even so for my kids I cut just like straight across not the best cutting job in the world. I was in a hurry the time that I made these. They turn into looking like they're backwards. They look like little Teletubbies when you're done. But um, the collar doesn't bother them usually. It's a little higher than usual, which I've seen some people cut the collars out too. But I didn't want to tempt my little Houdini any further than what I had already done. Um, and so when they're babies and they're... They can do like a zipper or pull down pants or whatever. They're not coordinated enough, usually, um, unless you have a super Houdini, um, to reach behind their head 
and manipulate a zipper behind them. Um, and so this has been wonderful. I do have one friend that has a super Houdini. She had asked me what I do at this stage and I, I shared with her my tip and she came back the next day and said, gosh, it didn't work. And so I went back to the original friend that asked, that told me about this. And she said for some of her kids, once they get a little bit older, um, she has to actually put a safety pin through here. Um, I don't know how comfortable I feel with that just because it's on the back of their neck. Isaiah was super Houdini um, so far out of our kids. Um, this pair actually was our favorite. And it was because when Isaiah started getting a little older and he started figuring out what I was doing, um, I needed a little help to keep the zipper covered and I was like I said I wasn't comfortable with doing the safety pin thing so if you can find the kind that has the button over the top of the zipper which is really just there so that their little chins don't get poked by the zipper or whatever when they when their head drops if they're sitting up that's the only reason I can figure it's just, or someone thinks it looks better whatever um but you just put the little thing over and then they really can't access the zipper. So this one ended up being our final pair um, before we convinced Isaiah that it really is a good thing to keep your pajamas on. So I will put these pajamas, these, with the little cute polar bears and stars and holly berries. I guess that's why it was considered holidays, had holly berries on it. Um, I'll put these in our, our baby bin and then I will put these two boys pajamas in our boy bin. Um, I also have a girl bin, uh, but it is much more compact. Anyway, so I just wanted to share this trick with you really quick and um, hopefully it helps somebody out there. Um, it was so nice to know that I didn't have to pay 25 plus dollars for pajamas. This special pajama thing. I have three dollars worth of pajamas <laughs> that have worked just fine. Okay, so I'm going to sign out for the day. As you can see, I have some uh, bed to remake. I uh, have to remake a bed um, before bed. And um, Brandon is not back. Normally, he would sign off with me. But he uh, ran to the store to pick up some red meat. Because all we have is white meat. And I need red meat.